Okay, I'm using the Revit architecture sample model to test our Neo Translator tool using Yandex Translate. So from the ribbon, I'll select the BIMWorks Language Translator. Um, I would select my input language. In this case, we know that it is English. And I'm going to select an output language and I'll choose Afrikaans for this example. You can choose whether to include parameter names and values in the translation. If not selected, only text notes will be translated. If you include parameter names um, or parameters using name and description um, values to translate, then you can specify them using a comma separated input. You can also optionally capitalize the results and we'll hit translate and let it run through the service. This will take a couple of seconds, depending on the amount of data that needs to be translated. As you can see, when we included the parameter names to be translated, that includes all of the Revit elements, including views, levels, sheets, and the works. And there we go. We can see that we've translated 30 instances. That doesn't mean 30 characters or 30 words, it means 30 um, initiations of the translation. And if we jump straight into any view, you can see now suddenly we've got English in all of the room names, since we specified that all elements with the parameter name should be translated. Also description, which we don't have here, but we do have names so that's been translated. All of the text notes have been translated and that will reflect through into the legends as well. Obviously the legend element itself has got a different parameter for the title, but you'll see all of the associated or reference data within it has been translated. You might need to review some of the translations. This is supposed to say living um, and the direct translation to that might be different to what you expected it to be in your translated language, but um, in general, most of these are quite successful. And if we go and look at an elevation view, you'll notice since we included um, all those parameter names to be translated, it's even done so for levels. And obviously that'll filter through into schedules and anything that we have or might have specified um, to be included depending on the parameters we specified. And that's the translator tool.